Welcome back to IndianTimesDaily.com and the top 10 headlines from Canada are The Department of National Defence has blamed fiscal restraints for cutting the third Navy resupply ship. The Liberal government's defence policy had promised a Navy capable of deploying and sustaining two naval task groups, each composed of up to four warships and a resupply vessel. Pro- and anti-immigration protesters have faced off in dueling rallies in Canada cities. Members of Storm Alliance announced these to protest the policies of the Liberal government. In turn, many pro-refugee organizations announced their own gatherings to counter Storm Alliance's message. A northern Ontario town is offering generous incentives to those who want to move there and help rebuild the community. Smooth Rock Falls has been offering striking financial incentives to purchase land and establish companies to reopen the sorts of businesses that are prevalent in thriving communities. British Columbia will fund 1,000 new modular housing units in an attempt to tackle the growing issue of homelessness. The province has committed $66 million to the Vancouver buildings alone, where residents will also be able to access support services to help them rebuild their lives. An Air France plane was forced to make an emergency landing in Labrador after one of its engines blew out over the Atlantic Ocean. It landed safely after being diverted to Goose Bay Airport as a precaution in response to a technical issue. Nova Scotia has tabled a legislation that sets the stage for its promised cap and trade regime. It aims to achieve targets for further greenhouse gas reductions with minimal impact to consumers although specific details on the regulations and the effect on consumers are yet to be known. Workers with Juliet's place in Scarborough have voted unanimously to ratify a four-year tentative agreement that carries substantial wage and benefit enhancements. Workers will have a 2% wage hike in each of the four years and large number of improvements to their benefits. Nova Scotia pharmacies are now stocking free naloxone kits as part of the province's strategy to battle opioid overdoses. Health officials said that anyone can pick up a kit anonymously in more than 240 locations across the province. British Columbia's government is contributing $50,000 to support Metro Vancouver's effort to entice Amazon into selecting the city as its second headquarters. Premier John Hogan has said that BC would consider supporting proposals from other cities in the province as well. Huge flocks of Canada geese have moved past messy and aggressive and are harming the environment in several Vancouver Island cities. They are no longer migrate in winter and have eaten almost 80% of estuary grasses which destroyed shelter for migrating salmon. I'll be back, stay logged on to IndianTimesDaily.com as the news from Gujarat follows.